Hi guys, Massman here again. Uh, this is the second part of my nth term algebra series. Um, if you have not seen the first part of the video, I suggest you do you watch that first before watching this video. Um, I'll link the um, the video in the top left hand corner of the screen. Um, just click there to, to to play the video. If you have already seen the first part, then I'll make a start here. Now, in the first video. Um, I was showing you how to take a sequence of numbers and change it into um, into an nth term. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how you turn the nth term into a sequence of numbers. So it, it's doing the opposite, basically. So, just like in the first video, what you have to do is you have to copy out this table. Now, I always like to do the first 1, 2, 3, 4... And five the first five terms okay now once you've got the first five terms what you're looking at then is you start with one okay so if n is one then I I substitute n for one and just like I mentioned in the first video if you have the number next to n then it means that you multiply them together so if I've swapped out n for 1, then I do 2 times 1, that is 2, and then I add 1, and that makes 3. So if n is the same as 1, then the answer in this equation would be 3. Now, if n was 2... Then I would do 2 multiplied by 2. That would give me 4. Then I would add 1. And that would be 5. Now I'll move on to 3. So if n was 3, I would do 2 multiplied by 3. That would give me 6. And then I would add 1. And it will be 7. And I could go on doing this same, these same steps for 4 and 5. But after you've done the first three, uh, nth, the first three terms, you can normally notice a pattern. So I can see here that from 3 to 5, there's add 2. And from 5 to 7, I've noticed that the rule is plus 2. So I'm betting that the next number is probably going to be 9. And the next one after that is going to be plus 2, and that's going to be 11. Okay? So I've just turned my nth term into a sequence of numbers now. And I'm just going to write this in a, in a, in a color so you can see it clearly. Okay? So the first term in the sequence will be 3. Then it will be 5. Then it will be 7. Then it will be 9. Then it will be 11. Okay, this question is a little more difficult, but again, I've been given the nth term. Now I need to turn this into a sequence of numbers. So again, I'm going to do my table like I did in my first example, and like I did in my first video. I'm going to make space for the first five terms. Now, this question is a little... Uh, a little strange because I start the the first part of my nth term is actually just 10 it's a number it's not got any letters or any algebra next to it. it's just 10 okay and then it's in the second part where I have the the algebra bit the 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 2n okay let me explain to you what this 10 means that 10 means that I start with 10 so I, I begin with 10 okay so what I'm actually going to do just for now is I'm going to ignore the 10, okay? And I'm going to concentrate on where the n is. So let's start, like we did in the first example, with the 1. So I'm going to cross out the n. I'm going to change it to 1. So that would be 2 times 1 would be 2, okay? Now I'm interested in this first bit, okay? Now I looked at it. Now I've completed this bit and figured out that if n was 1, it'd be 2. I can do 10 take away 2 there and get an answer of 8. So that would give me 8. 
Okay, now if now if I move on to n, if n was 2, I'm going to cross out n and put 2 here, and do 2 multiplied by 2, that would give me 4. Then I look at the first part of this and say 10 take away 4. Well, that would be 6. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause the video for a little bit. And um, if you have a pen and paper handy, then I would like you to have a go at working out what, if, if n was 3, what would, what would the next number in the sequence be? Okay, so I'm just going to pause the video now. You should pause the video now. Okay, so hopefully by now you'll pause this video and you'll have worked out what the next number in the sequence is. Um, and here's the answer. So if n was 3, I would take 3 and substitute it for, for 3. And I would do 2 times 3, so that would be 6. And then it would be 10, 10 take away 6. And that would give me 4. Now, because I've done the first three terms here, I can see there's a pattern that's developed again. The pattern is take away 2 this time, take away 2 again, and the rules take away 2 every time. So I can work out what the fourth term is. That must be 2. And the fifth term would be 0. So that's the end of today's video. I am going to finish with a quiz question. And you can leave the answer to the quiz question down in the comments section below. Um, so here I have a question, an nth term. But it's 5n and a line and then 2. So my question is, what does that line mean? So I've drawn a yellow arrow to which line that I'm talking about. Does it A mean use a fraction? Does it B mean use a ruler? Or does it... C mean that you divide. Thanks for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it and it has been helpful, then please let me know with a thumbs up down below. And if you are interested in seeing more helpful uh, maths videos to do with the British curriculum, then you might want to subscribe um, so you'll get notifications when they do come up. And if you are looking to know um, if you wanted to know when the what the answer to this question is, then please watch my next video uh, where I'll be going through the answer. Okay, see you again next time, guys.